Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. This was written by Kimberly and James Dean. Here's the title page. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach, surf and sun and tons of fun. Ooh, look at all of them surfing on the waves. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. See his idea bubble? Hmm, I wonder what his idea is. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place, let's go. See all the friends on their motorcycle. Hmm. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. Oh look, it looks like they were coloring pictures. Looks like they were playing drums, maybe riding bikes, eating hot pizza. Mm, all the fun things we like to do with our friends. On went the pajamas and out went the lights. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when... Clap, clap, clap. Who did that, Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. Let's see his hands clapping, Grumpy Toad. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when, rat-a-tat-tat-tat. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. See, he's jamming on the drums. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Oh, Pete wants to go to sleep, but all his friends want to make noise. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard... <gasps> what do you think he heard this time? Munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? What do you think he's going to do? All the clapping, rat-a-tat-tatting, and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. What's Pete's idea? What can he do? He got out his favorite bedtime story, and he started to read, first to himself, and then to the gang. Look, he's reading his own book, Pete the Cat and Ten Little Monsters. Ooh, do you think this idea is going to work? Do you think his friends are going to be quiet? Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. Are his friends listening? Are they being quiet? Do you think they're going to go to bed? Let's see. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Pete yawned and turned off the light. Oh, good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing, sun, and tons of fun. The end. If you look closely, you can see all the different Pete the Cats. Pretty fun, right? Well, boys and girls, even though we're not at school, I brought home our book counter. And yesterday, with Miss Hartman, you read The Gruffalo, and that was your 275th book. 
So today I'm going to change it because we read one more book. And let's see, what comes after 275? One more than five. If I count five, the next number is six. So I'm going to change the five in my ones place to a six. That was our 276th book as a class. Can't wait to read with you guys again soon. Hope you're reading at home. Bye, friends.